create with AI. You know the pain. Great image, but low resolution. Let's fix that. Here's how to turn your AI art into stunning 4K or even 8K using Seed VR2 in Comfy UI. Seed VR2 isn't your average upscaler. Instead of just sharpening, it actually adds detail and texture, keeping your images clean, crisp, and true to their original style. To get started, you'll need Comfy UI installed and running on a decent GPU. If you're using RunPot, that's ideal. You'll get access to powerful GPUs like the RTX 4090 instantly. But if you're running locally, don't worry. I've managed to run this workflow on a 12GB VRAM card just fine, as long as you use the memory saving settings I'll show later. If you're using RunPod, open your VS Code terminal and follow these steps. Click here to open the terminal. Then navigate to your custom nodes folder. Then clone the nightly branch of the Seed VR2 repository. Once that's done, move into the new folder. Now, if you're using RunPod, activate your virtual environment. But if you're doing this locally, you can skip this step. You don't need to activate any virtual environment. And finally, install the dependencies. And that's it. The Seed VR2 Nightly Upscaler is now installed and ready to use in Comfy UI. All the commands are listed on our website so you can copy and paste them easily. Now let's load the actual Seed VR2 workflow inside Comfy UI. You can grab the JSON file from our website. The link is in the description. Just drag and drop the JSON file onto your Comfy UI canvas and it'll automatically load all the Seed VR2 nodes and connections for you. Once it's loaded, upload the image you want to upscale in the Load Image node. That's your starting point. We don't need to manually download any upscale models because when you run the workflow for the first time, Comfy UI will automatically download the selected model. You'll see there are a few model options to choose from, each with its own balance of speed and quality. The 3B models are faster and lighter, great if you're short on VRAM or just want quick results. The 7B models take a bit longer but produce the best detail and accuracy. Then you've got two precision options, FP8 and FP16. FP16 gives you the highest fidelity but uses more VRAM while FP8 is faster and more memory efficient. So if you've got 24 gigabytes of VRAM or more, go for 7BFP16. If not, 3BFP8 still gives you beautiful results. But before we continue, quick shout out to today's sponsor, FanView. FanView is a platform built for creators who want to monetize in new ways. And right now, one of the fastest growing trends is AI influencers. Yes, creators are already earning a serious income by building and running AI-driven accounts. To make it easy to get started, FanView has launched a free Creator Academy course. It gives you the exact step-by-step -step blueprint for setting up your own AI influencer and shows how people are turning their skills into a side hustle, with some earning thousands every month. If you're curious about making money with AI or just want to see how this space works, check out the free course. I'll leave the link down below, it's definitely worth a look. Alright, now let's jump back in. Now let's tune the workflow so it fits your GPU and gives the best output. Inside the block swap config, you can control how much of the image gets processed at once. This directly affects both speed and VRAM usage. Zero gives you the fastest speed but uses the most memory. 16 is the balanced mode. It's my default, but if you're low on VRAM, like on a 12 gigabyte card, go with 32 or even 60. It'll run slower, but it'll stay stable. Next, in the Extra Args node, you'll adjust the settings that control VRAM efficiency. If you run into out of memory errors, enable Tiled VAE, set the tile size to around 512 or 1024, keep the tile overlap at 128, and make sure Preserve VRAM and Cache models are turned on. These settings help Seed VR2 run smoothly even on smaller GPUs. Finally, in the Upscaler node, select your model, set the resolution to 2160 for 4K or 4320 for 8K, and keep the noise values low, input noise at 0 and latent noise at 0 0.03, then just hit run and watch the magic happen. If you get an OOM error, don't stress. You can lower your resolution, increase your block swap value, enable tiled VAE, or drop the VAE tile size to 512. Each of those will lower memory load and keep things running smoothly.
Here's a quick look at how the models perform on an RTX 4090. The 3 BFP8 model takes about 4 seconds to sample for a 4K image, while the 7 BFP16 model takes around 11. At 8K, that's roughly 28 seconds versus 53. So yeah, 7B takes longer, but the sharpness and texture detail are absolutely worth it. And this even works great on anime style images too, just look at that crisp detail. Let's look at one last example. You can really see how much detail Seed VR2 brings back, even from a low res AI render. And yes, this same setup works perfectly for videos too. That guide's coming up next. If this helped you out, drop a like, subscribe for more comfy UI tutorials, and tell me in the comments what you want to see next. I'll catch you in the next one.